What's going on everyone? Nomad93 coming at you with another video from Contractors. Uh, we've been getting some questions on how to use the mods that you download and also how to download mods. So I'm going to show you a video on how to do that today. So when you first open up the menu, you'll see the mods tab right up here on the right. When you click on that, it opens up this menu here. Now you've got featured mods, all mods, and my mods being the mods that you have already downloaded. You go to all mods, you can then further filter it to maps, loadouts, or custom modes. So let's say you want to play some Call of Duty maps. You just select the map tab there, and it's going to bring up all of the available modded maps that you can download. So you'll see here it says Modern Warfare 2 Terminal, Black Ops 1 Nuketown, Black Ops 2 Hijacked, and you can just cycle through, select whichever maps you want to download, and uh, let's say we want to do Star Wars Battlefront 2 Polis Massa. So I'll select that one. It gives you a brief summary here of what the uh, map is. Come down here and hit subscribe. And you'll see up here the download queue. It's downloading. Boom. Downloaded. I can go to my mods and it'll be in there somewhere. Probably, yeah, there it is, the last one. So that's how to get the mods. Uh, as far as using them, it's pretty straightforward. You can't do it from single player as far as I know. But instead you're going to go into multiplayer. You can use the mods in any of these three categories here. If you try to go to co-op, it won't let you use it. So let's select casual here. You'll select whatever you want to do. Uh, let's say I'm going to allow 10 players. My password's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4. And I'm going to hit next, select your region just like normal, and then it pulls this up. You can play standard or mod cross platform. Uh, whichever one is highlighted in red is the one that you're going to be playing. So we'll make sure that mod cross platform is selected and hit create. Once you're in this, uh, you have to select the map from the mods map list. So you click to change your map, and you might be searching through here thinking, where are my mods? This is actually all of the maps, so the mods are now showing up. But you can just select the mods, and this is all of the maps that you would have downloaded as a mod. As far as loadout, this is the official loadout screen, so these are the only ones that you'll see. But you can go to mods and select a loadout for yourself. Uh, for those of you watching that are Star Wars fans, the Clone Wars loadout works just fine. You get a couple blasters. Um, thermal detonators, you can get a jetpack. The Jedi Knight Jedi Academy loadout mod uh, doesn't seem to quite work yet. You can select what lightsaber you want to use, but as soon as you spawn in, you have nothing. You are empty handed. So keep that in mind. If you're going to download this one, they're still working out the bugs on that. If you'll select whatever loadout you want to select. Select whatever game mode you want to do. However many bots you want. Assign yourself a team if you want to, and then you just hit start, and that's as easy as it gets. Video helps you guys understand mods a little easier, and I uh, hope that you guys get to uh, experience more of this game, just like I've been able to do here in the last few days. If you guys have more questions, don't hesitate to leave them down below, and we'll see you guys on the battlefield. Oculus Prime signing off.